Imagine a world where prosperity brings about a peculiar paradox, a surplus of single, mature women. Today, we delve into this intriguing phenomenon in Asia. As the continent experiences unprecedented economic growth, an unexpected demographic shift is taking root. Please watch to the end, last country will shock you. A rising number of mature, independent women are finding themselves single in societies where marriage and family have been traditional hallmarks of success. This isn't just a social commentary. It's a profound demographic shift that's rewriting societal norms and challenging stereotypes. These women are educated, financially stable and empowered, yet they find themselves in a predicament navigating a landscape that was not designed for them. It's a paradox born out of prosperity where economic success does not necessarily translate into personal fulfillment. So let's take a journey. Let's explore the narratives and experiences of these women and the countries they call home. Join us as we count down the top five Asian countries grappling with this unique demographic challenge. But wait, before we begin, please subscribe to ensure that you never miss out on any of my crucial stuff. Comment I subscribe below and I will personally welcome you to our community. Let's get started. Starting our countdown at the fifth spot, we find ourselves in Cambodia. Cambodia, a Southeast Asian nation known for its stunning Angkor Wat and rich cultural history, is grappling with an intriguing socio-economic phenomenon. A growing number of older single women are dominating the population, a trend driven by a complex tapestry of factors. Let's peel back the layers to understand this further. Economic prosperity has played a significant role in this demographic shift. As Cambodia continues to develop, it's seeing an increase in educational and employment opportunities for women. These opportunities have empowered women to postpone marriage, often in favor of pursuing careers or higher education. It's like a bird that has just discovered its wings, relishing the freedom of the vast skies. But prosperity isn't the only factor at play here. Cambodia's history, specifically the Khmer Rouge regime, resulted in a significant gender imbalance due to the loss of a large portion of the male population. This tragic past continues to echo in the present day, similar to an eerie tune that lingers long after the music has stopped. Now let's bring some numbers into the mix. A recent census revealed that for every 100 women in Cambodia, there are only 94 men. This might not seem like a significant disparity at first glance, but when we consider the population of the entire country, it translates into hundreds of thousands of women who may not find a partner. Anecdotes from the ground paint a vivid picture of this trend. Stories of women choosing to live independently of communities of older women supporting each other in the absence of men are becoming increasingly common. These narratives, like a series of colorful thread, weave together to form the complex fabric of contemporary Cambodian society. Yet despite the challenges, these women are far from helpless. They are redefining societal norms, carving out their own paths, and in many ways, shaping the future of Cambodia. This trend in Cambodia provides a fascinating insight into the complex interplay between prosperity and demographics. Moving on to our fourth spot, we travel to the vibrant country of Vietnam. This Southeast Asian nation, known for its bustling cities, rich culture and breathtaking landscapes, is also home to a trend that's raising eyebrows across the globe. In Vietnam, we see a peculiar paradox. As the nation's economy has flourished, so too has the number of single, older women. But why? The answer lies primarily in the country's remarkable economic growth. Over the past few decades, Vietnam has transformed from a primarily agrarian society to a booming industrialized economy. This rapid economic progress has brought about significant societal changes and with them shifts in the traditional family structure. As more women enter the workforce, they gain financial independence, which in turn gives them more agency in their personal lives. This newfound freedom has enabled many Vietnamese women to delay marriage or forego it altogether, resulting in an increase in the number of single older women. However, this isn't the whole story. Vietnam's economic boom has also led to a significant labor migration. Many men have left their hometowns and even the country in search of better job opportunities. This exodus of men, coupled with the changing societal norms, has created a gender imbalance, leaving a surplus of single women in its wake. 
But let's not forget that these women, often perceived as leftover, are far from being passive victims of circumstances. They are active agents, shaping their lives in ways that were unimaginable in the previous generations. Many are thriving in their careers, contributing significantly to Vietnam's economy and challenging the traditional expectations of women in Vietnamese society. This trend in Vietnam is a testament to how economic development can drastically reshape societal norms and demographics. It's a narrative of empowerment and independence, but also one of imbalance and disparity. Vietnam's experience demonstrates how rapid economic growth can have unexpected demographic consequences. It's a stark reminder that even as countries strive for economic prosperity, they must also navigate the complex social changes that come with it. Next on our list, we journey to the land of smiles, Thailand, which takes the bronze medal in our countdown. Thailand, renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant culture and mouth-watering cuisine, is also home to an intriguing social dynamic. A rising number of single older women, a trend largely attributed to the country's booming tourism industry. Tourism, a significant economic driver in Thailand, has had an unexpected influence on its societal fabric. The industry's demand for male labor, particularly in jobs such as tour guides, hospitality staff and transportation drivers, has led to a large portion of the male population flocking to tourist hotspots. This migration in turn has resulted in a conspicuous absence of men in other parts of the country. Simultaneously, the country's economic progress has empowered Thai women, providing them with greater access to education and career opportunities. This newfound independence and self-sufficiency have made marriage less of an economic necessity for Thai women, leading to a rise in the number of single older women. However, it's not just about economic factors. Thai society, traditionally patriarchal, has been experiencing a shift in gender roles and expectations. Women, once expected to marry young and devote themselves to family life, are now encouraged to pursue their ambitions and delay marriage. This societal shift, coupled with the male migration to tourist areas, has resulted in a demographic imbalance. It has led to a significant number of older, single women in regions away from the tourism hub. This trend, however, is not without its challenges. The absence of men in certain regions has led to a lack of social support for these women, exacerbating societal issues such as loneliness and mental health problems. Thailand's scenario is a fascinating study of how economic success and societal evolution can intertwine, leading to unexpected demographic trends. It's a testament to the fact that prosperity doesn't always follow a linear path and can sometimes lead to surprising societal changes. Thailand's situation serves as a vivid example of how economic success can lead to surprising societal changes. Before we continue, can I beg a little favor? If you're liking what you're hearing, show us some love by pressing that like button. And hey, if you want to be in the loop for our fantastic upcoming videos, make sure to press subscribe and ring that bell so you're always in the know. Oh, and one more thing, drop a quick I subscribe down in the comments and I'll make sure to offer you a warm welcome to our amazing family. All right, enough of that. Let's keep the conversation flowing. Coming in at the second spot, we find the Philippines, a country known for its vibrant culture and stunning landscapes. But beneath the surface, the Philippines faces a unique social challenge. A significant number of Filipino men seek work overseas, leading to a demographic imbalance at home. This trend has resulted in a growing number of single older women left behind, a phenomenon that is both intriguing and thought-provoking. This overseas employment trend is driven by economic necessity. Filipino men often find themselves compelled to seek better paying jobs abroad to support their families. Their departure leaves a vacuum in the local communities, with women left to shoulder the responsibilities both at home and within society. The money sent home by these overseas Filipino workers, known as remittances, plays a vital role in the country's economy. It's like a double-edged sword cutting both ways. On one hand, it brings much-needed financial prosperity. On the other, it fosters a social imbalance that's hard to ignore. Interestingly, this phenomenon is not just about the numbers, it's about the transformation of societal roles and expectations in the face of economic pressure. The increasing number of single older women in the Philippines is not just a statistic, it's a reflection of the resilience and adaptability of these women in the face of shifting societal dynamics. 
The Philippines' experience underscores the complex relationship between economic development and social transformation. And finally, the top spot in our countdown goes to China, the most populous country in the world. China's unique situation is a result of a combination of factors, most notably the one-child policy and rapid urbanization. As a nation with a long history of valuing male children over females, China introduced the one-child policy in the late 70s. This policy paired with a cultural preference for male offspring led to a significant gender imbalance. The one-child policy designed to curb a surging population inadvertently created a surplus of men. For every 100 girls born, there were nearly 118 boys, a disparity that has created a generation of single older women. Rapid urbanization, on the other hand, has contributed to the issue from another angle. As younger generations flock to cities in search of better opportunities, they leave behind a rural population that is increasingly aged and predominantly female. This urban migration has led to a significant rise in the number of older unmarried women in rural areas. These women, often referred to as leftover women, face societal pressure and stigma. However, they also represent a powerful and growing demographic, reshaping cultural norms and expectations. China's case is not an isolated one, as other Asian countries also grapple with similar issues. Yet, it is in China where the impact of government policy and urbanization has been most profound. China's case illustrates how government policies and urbanization can dramatically reshape demographic trends.